But welcome to another edition of the Late Night Feed in, out, and about here on Giant TV with Ange and Rob. It is Rob live in Renfrew, Ontario for Horton Hoedown. Of course, Bobby Wills, the headliner for the Friday night show. It is going to be a hot, hot day here in Renfrew. And we're going to chat with Bobby, of course, about the new single, Raise the Bar, the new record that's coming out in the fall as well. What's happening for him uh, down the road, and of course, a special family connection to the Bobby Wills band. All of that and more coming up on this edition of the Late Night Feed in, out, and about with Ange and Rob right Right here on Giant TV. Late night feed with Andrew and Rob in out and about. We're here in Renfrew with Mr. Bobby Wills. Thank you, sir. Thank you. My goodness, uh, what a year uh, it's been for you. Uh, raise the bar. You've got to be pretty happy about that one. Yeah, we yeah. had fun. You know, sometimes you just got to put it out there and have fun, and that's what that one is. And uh, it's gone over really well for us. The live, that particularly live. Yeah. Is is the fun part of country still there? Is there still a, that that fun element to it? I know it's it's trucks and beers and. And girls, is that uh, is that still ringing true for the music that you want to put out there? Yeah, I mean, I think you have to have some uh, something that's just fun. Um, it's not it's not what we do primarily, I wouldn't say, um, but I think there's a place for it for sure. Yeah, the new record out in the fall. That's uh, that's yep. exciting too. Uh, any special nerve or any kind of expectation at this point putting out a record? I'm, I mean, I know obviously in the new in the in the early years it must have been. Uh, does that change for you? Yeah, I mean, I think it's exciting anytime you're putting out new music. I don't know that records are the same as they once were. I mean, you know, by the time um, the actual EP lands, you probably have heard most of it uh, as it trickles out. Um, so it's not EPs and records are kind of different now. Um, so it's really more on the singles. There's more pressure on each song as it comes out. But um, it's always exciting. It's always a little scary. You know, you, you work on something <laughs> and you care about it. And, yeah. uh, and then when it goes out, you're, you know, you're hopeful that it does well. And, and uh, so it can be a little... You know, a little, little anxiety there, but um, mostly it's fun. Are you a vinyl guy? You talked yeah. about putting out a record. I mean, uh, yeah. I know that now, of course, vinyl is that the optimum way to hear a record. Uh, are you a vinyl guy? I'm not a vinyl guy. Not at all. I'm not. I just haven't gotten into it. Um, I'm just still a CD guy. Yes. <laughs> you know? How many CDs do you have? have you, are they in your car, broken cases and no, all? No, you know, my car, doesn't <laughs> have, my car doesn't even have a CD player. No. Um, so... But at home, I still listen to CDs, which I, I constantly chastise by my children for. But, uh, yes. That, um, yeah. yeah, I just never, I, it's not a, I, I get the vinyl thing. I just haven't done it yet. Yeah, right. Your kids, they're, uh, they're an influence on you and in the uh, technological advancements. And yeah, to, yeah. Uh, among other things. Yeah, yeah, right, right. Yeah, my daughter's, my 10-year-old is usually fixing my phone for me. And, you know, I think that story's pretty common. <laughs> hey, if I can get my phone off my 10-year-old, yeah, it's well, a good day, that. right? They've got there's their, they've got it. Yeah. Uh, how important is family to you? I know you're, you're a, you're a, you you come from a family that is yep. uh, strong and true and, 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 and connected. How important is that, do you think, to you? Well, it's everything. Yeah. I mean, I don't know that um, any of the things and any successes or failures or any of those things are uh, easily suffered uh, without family. I don't, I don't know how you'd do it. I, I, I really don't know what life would be like without them. I'm very, very fortunate. Um, you know, and it's it's sometimes it can be difficult in this business from a priorities point of view, but we've made it our priority to be family first, and uh, it's worked out great for us. I'm yeah. very, very lucky. Yeah. What's the uh, rest of the summer for you? I know you're here now in Renfrew. Yeah. Uh, you got uh, you got a busy schedule. Yeah, we we're lots of moving pieces. Um, we've got some a few more shows through the summer here, uh, ending in the end of August. Um, then CC Mays, of course, in Calgary, which is home. Right. How's that um, going to be being at home for that big? Yeah, one? that'll yeah. be yeah. it'll be interesting. I sleep in my own bed. <laughs> CCMA, <laughs> so which would be a, a, trip. a bonus, right? Yeah. Um, no, it'll be fun. Uh, yeah. You know, Calgary's a great city, and, and so it'll be fun to have it there. Um, so, and then after that, we'll, we'll be finishing the new record. You know, slowly putting the final pieces on everything, and so excited Fantastic. to do it. Yeah. It's exciting now. Yeah. Uh, Calgary, the home of, of course, you and Bobby Wills. Yeah. Uh, and one drummer that you may have uh, heard of. Uh, yes. Uh, Rick Leclaire. Yes. Uh, you've had him from the beginning. Yeah. Is that right? Time. He just walked in. Come and join us. Rick Leclerc there, the drummer for the Bobby Wills band. Hey! Since day one, man. Am I being had again? No, you are being you are being yeah. recorded. Let's find a spot for Rick. Join us on the couch. This is the oh, Coach is the Truth. Coach. This is the Coach truth, truth right yeah. here. Coach truth. Hey, yeah, so you've been from, from day one with this gentleman here. Yeah. 
<laughs> Tell us how the journey's been to this point. Oh, I mean, there's amazing. ups and downs, right? Oh, no, obviously. it's been amazing. No, no, no downs. Only yeah. ups. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Bob's great. Yeah. He's like the best guy to work for. Now tell us about your yeah, note that I've been paying him. <laughs> how did how did you meet? How did this whole thing come together here? Well, as I recall, um, I was working with a, another artist, an R and B artist, and um, she had called me up and said she had this corporate gig, and she needed a drummer for for this guy. And so Bob sent me his first album, like, so I'd learn it, right? So learned all the album, thought, oh, this is great, this is amazing stuff, right? So then we do the gig, and it was an awful gig. <laughs> it was the worst <laughs> gig ever. And Bob turned to me before we started, he, he just turned to me and he went, we're, we're not, not doing, doing any, any of my songs. songs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's late night feed with Andrew and Rob and on the bell. Bobby Wills here backstage Hot. at the Horton Hoedown. How's it going, Hot buddy? Dog. Now, uh, Hot this, dog. Is the, uh, this is the official bun layout. This is the official layout. bun layout. Now, what do you yep. put on your hot dog, man? That's what goes on the hot dog. You're going to need a wiener yeah. for that. Yeah, okay, so that looks like one. There you go. Right Summertime treat is the hot dog, right? isn't it? There you go. And you got to, like, you gotta, give it a bit of a. You got to squeeze it? Yeah, you got to. <laughs> You gotta kind of get it wrapped. See, the only problem with this is there's some bun wastage here. So there's some bun wastage. Yeah, you need extra bun. I think we're gonna need, have to. You need a larger wiener. Yeah, we're gonna. We're, <laughs> we're gonna have to write a letter uh, about the bun wastage. Um, now the other option is to just take another hot dog. There you go. And and like and then so what you do is you do like this little surgery thing, and then now you have hot dog wastage. So you have to choose between your bun wastage. Or the you know beef waste. Either way, you're wasting. And I feel like if you just sort of. There you go. Well, you know? you've done it now. Look at it. It's all laid out the correctly. Problem. Graceful exit ever. All right, this is going to wrap things up for tonight. We have a whole day ahead of us tomorrow with Tave Brie Lawrence and a whole lot more. So I hope you guys are ready to party. This guy has so many great songs. You're going to sit back and go, I know that one. I know that one. He's a great guy, all the way from Calgary, Alberta. Let's welcome to the 2019 Horton Hoedown, Bobby Wells.
another edition of the Late Night Feed with Angie and Rob in Out and About on Giant TV. Thank you to Renfrew. Thank you to the Horton Hoedown. And of course, thank you to Bobby Wills. Uh, and you for watching once again. Stay tuned for more episodes to come. If you have not subscribed yet, make sure you find yourself to Giant TV Niagara. Get yourself set up and enjoy some more episodes of the Late Night Feed with Angie and Rob in Out and About on Giant TV. Peace.